mind blown. Our future with artificial intelligence is a big question in the mind of many scientists, business leaders, politicians, and indeed, all of us. AI will likely turn out to be one of the greatest, if not the greatest, invention of the human species. Think of it for a minute. We are separated from the animal world on this planet by our intelligence, and now we are figuring out ways to increase our intelligence by factors of thousands, maybe millions, by creating this additional form of intelligence. The term artificial is a bit of a misnomer, I think, as there is nothing artificial about it. It's real, but it just isn't biological, at least not yet. In outgrowth of 20th century computer sciences and writing of algorithms, we first task computers with performing narrowly defined and often repetitive tasks. As this developed, we found that we could write programs which directed computers to use statistical and historical data to learn and predict new data. By doing so, the program learns how to get better at a task. We call this machine learning. Now, desiring deeper and more meaningful data, the number of connections and the amount of information fed into these systems increased logarithmically and we realized that a rigid linear path of information input and output was too limiting, and we looked to biology for help. Human and animal brains work within an entirely different architecture, where there are millions of neurons which connect and communicate with millions of other neurons. These neurons are arranged in layers, and connect to neurons in adjacent layers through what is called a hidden layer between them. The hidden layer transforms the input information into processed information that can be correctly classified in the output layer. The connections can occur in various patterns and in different ways, such as pooling, when a number of neurons from one layer connect to just one neuron of a different layer. These patterns and the weight of the various connections is determined by the number of input connections. Thus, a neuron with a high number of connections will thus have a high weight in the output to the next layer of neurons. We call this deep learning. We are currently working on artificial general intelligence. At this level, a machine can solve problems it's never been trained to work on, much like a human can. It also involves the complex concept of understanding that other living things have thoughts and emotions that affect their behavior. Essentially, machines would have to be able to grasp the fluctuations of emotions in decision-making and other psychological concepts in real time creating a two-way relationship between people and AI. The final step in developing AI will be instilling self-awareness. This means that the AI now understands and actually has emotions. At this point, I believe you could call it a viable living life form. So, what are the possibilities and predictions for the future of this technology? Number one, computers will solve all problems known to the human race. We will create systems and robots which are smarter than us. According to Ray Kurzweil, one of the most known futurists, computers will have the same level of intelligence as humans by 2045, and they will only quickly progress from there. Number 2. Machines will become our best friends, advisors, and caretakers. We are social beings and need other people. Yet, increasingly, many of us seem to be more comfortable dealing with people via devices rather than in person. As machines get more intelligent and can better adapt to its users, people may end up preferring to interact with machines over people. Moreover, robots and AI could provide excellent care and support for the elderly, the ill, and disabled. Number 3. We will accurately predict the future based on data and high-level analytics. Machine learning will have enough data and analytic capability to make accurate predictions about the future in a whole host of ways. Number 4. We will all become superhumans enhanced by technology. Our minds and bodies will be enhanced by prosthetics and implants, giving us infallible functions. Technology could cure us of deadly injuries, replace our limbs and organs, or give us sensory abilities far beyond existing vision, hearing, and manipulation. We will also be living in symbiosis with superintelligent systems. We will connect our brain directly to them thus expanding who we are. This will allow us to access computers which are thousands of times more powerful than their own brain. Human and artificial intelligence have the potential to combine to create systems that are smarter than either alone. 
by linking wirelessly from our neocortex to a synthetic neocortex in the cloud, our intelligence will thus increase thousand, maybe even a million fold. As stated by Elon Musk, humans must merge with machines or become irrelevant in the AI age. Number 5. We will be immortal. In addition to being able to connect to the cloud to use its resources, humans will be able to upload their entire consciousness into a virtual reality cloud. Once all of the data, neural activity, process, and architecture of a person's brain is downloaded, then that person becomes immortal in the cloud and the virtual world. Immortality is reached. Now that deserves a mind blown. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to have your mind blown daily. It's free, you know.